We are at Pomona College with architect Yo Ichiro Hakamori of Studio How, who was involved in the design of the Studio Art Hall. One of the things I immediately notice is this stunning roof structure. It's a pretty prominent element in the design for sure. The overall look was a bit raw and edgy and unfinished. What we see here now has a similar expression with layers of wood and steel, but it's a lot more precisely designed, referencing the materiality of LA warehouse and roof structures. It's also kind of a very interesting structure for us because it appears to be curved in two different directions, but in actuality, it's only curved in one direction from corner to corner. It's really amazing because it is completely flat in the perpendicular direction at any given point along this curve. I understand that this is a LEED Gold certified building. What are some of the sustainable gestures you've included? Our office designed and completed the Grand Rapids Art Museum, which was the first LEED Gold certified museum in the country. At Pomona College, we included both passive and active systems. For example, all the classrooms have operable windows where prevailing winds can circulate through the studios while scallop skylights open up to allow hot air to escape. Large overhangs also protect the expanse of glass from direct sun infiltration, while allowing ample diffuse light to enter, lowering overall energy use. Storm and rainwater is collected, filtered, and distributed into dry wells for recharging the natural aquifer. Active strategies include rooftop photovoltaics to collect solar energy for electricity. Through the precise management of sun, wind, and water, this building uses less energy and is environmentally friendly. So, most all of the systems in the building you don't see. That is why we sometimes refer to it as invisible green. This is a fantastic courtyard. Yes, the courtyard is the focal point of the school. In addition to this courtyard space being a flexible space, we also imagine the grand staircase, which is very wide, to provide additional space for students to gather. The staircase is not simply an entry point from the ground floor to the second floor, but it is a place for students to hang out. One of the things we wanted to address was how our building fit into the historic context of the campus. As you know, Myron Hunt was a master planner for this campus, and there are a number of important primary and secondary axes that establishes the formal structure of the school. We also wanted to acknowledge the many building types found on campus organized around a courtyard, some designed by Myron Hunt as well. We were thus very careful to think about how our building would reference and respond to these two contextual conditions we found at Pomona College. The faculty wanted the students to work in all different parts of the building so that they weren't restricted just within their studio. So they imagined that maybe there's a project that requires a lot of extra space mm -hmm. and they could be working out there in that space. Students from other uh, departments also come here. It really is meant to be a flexible space that is a part of this idea of creating gray space where students, faculty, students from other departments all can interact within this building. Relating all the forms to nature seems important to you. Yes, even the image of the roof itself relates back to nature. The sweeping curves of the nearby San Gabriel Mountains, the California live oaks, and the sycamores on site all inspired some of our formal decisions. Thanks so much for walking us through this. We look forward to seeing some more of your work in the near future. Thanks, Rebecca. It was really great to show you around.